What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a game, well, sorry, we're not going to be doing a gameplay, we're doing, going to be doing another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So, in this video we are going to be starting it off with a locker code. So, 2K actually gave us quite a good locker code, and there is one player in this that I was most excited for, but uh, trust me, do not, like, do not go for this card. It is really bad. So, Remember at the very start of the year when you'd be playing in my team Triple Threat online and you got, well, there was a, or Triple Threat offline, sorry, and there was a Kemba Walker card that used to just keep coming up? Well, yeah, that Kemba Walker card is uh, now available in packs, or say not in packs, by locker code. And I really hope I don't get him because he's really bad. <laughs> like, I'm sorry to say this, but he's really bad. So the cards that I want are... Zach Randolph or the tokens or say or the diamond consumable pack I either want Zach Randolph or the like 12 or so KMT it comes to diamond consumable pack one contract is good Give us Randolph give us Randolph give us Randolph. No oh, I would have much like my I know I know a diamond consumable pack is not a bad thing at all But Randolph would have been unreal to have gotten for this squad. Oh, no, it's Cam I'm colorblind no, Kemba sucks. Kemba sucks. And do you want to know why he sucks? Because he's a day one uh, Evo card. This is a card. This is a day one card that has not been brought into the game. So remember the way this card right here, this emerald card only went up to Amethyst, and like nowadays it's just kind of completely outclassed. See this emerald right here? Yeah, great. He goes to diamond. You know what he doesn't get? He does not get any version of quick draw. Yes. He gets no quick draw at all. So, like, he manages to get... He gets Steady Shooter as well, which is a negative, which is a huge negative. Um, he gets no quick draw, which means he's borderline useless. And look at his speed rating. 83, 80... E sorry, 87, 87, 87. He can't dunk. His three ball is only okay at 87 he has no quick draw which is a huge huge problem lateral quickness caps out at 80 perimeter defense caps out at 82 which are bad he gets no clamps like no clamps oh man this card i would have much rather give me 15k over this card you know what i get a title for a video that's what i get out of this card like this card is terrible and like if you guys look at premium I think is he moments of the week five, seven or eight? No, six or maybe nine, eight. Okay, so look at this card right here. This Kemba. And this Kemba is not even that good. Seven Hall of Fame badges compared to I think it's two that the other one gets. This one has quick draw. This one has range extender. You're looking at the stats. Three ball is better. Speed is way, way better. Well, not way better, like plus three. It's fairly better. Lateral quickness is way better. Um, and yeah, so this card is just, this is a day one card. Like this card has been in the game day one and it's shown. And it just shows the way that the game has changed. Like if you guys look at some like day one, um, day one rubies. Like if you guys look at any of the current rubies, like you're never gonna see anyone except for maybe Carl Anthony Towns use any of the current rubies like or compare the actually no the current amethyst they're the biggest ones like if you guys compare the current amethyst let's compare like steph curry to dennis smith jr so dennis smith jr is 1k mt and he is a ruby card so you're thinking okay curry should be way way better dennis smith jr i know he's got less gold badges but he does have two hall of fame badges compared to zero no steady shooter on dennis smith jr they both have range extended. They both a quick first step. Um, thing is, though, Steph Curry's only got bronze diamond. Does Steph Curry even get range extender? I assume he does. Yeah, he does. But, like, look at the stats. Steph, Dennis Smith Jr. is a better three-pointer than Steph Curry. Free throw, Steph is way better. Dennis Smith Jr. is a better dunker. Dennis Smith Jr. is way, be way, way better on defense. Dennis Smith Jr. is way, way faster and way faster laterally. So, like, you're looking at these cards that are almost useless. You're looking at LeBron James, comparing him to... I don't know, even compare him to Michael Porter Jr., I guess. LeBron doesn't get clamps, I don't think. Yeah, sure, he gets 27 gold badges, including Dimer. Gets Intimidator, which is a good badge. 
Like offensively, yeah, sure, he's a little bit better in the post. Can't shoot as well. Barely dunks better. Is significantly slower. Um, not as good or tiny bit better on defense. And again, this is Michael Porter Jr., who's only an, I think he's an 88 rated um, Ruby. So like these current cards are poor on use. And none of these guys have any quick draw. So there's just no point using them. And that's the problem with the Kemba Walker card. Where is that he is 100, like it's so obvious he's a day one card. This is a card that should have been released in the game day one. Like he would have been useful if he was released day one. But nowadays you can get better cards for 7k MT than a fully Evo Kemba Walker. So I really, really wish I'd gotten Zach Randolph with that code. Because Zach Randolph would have, like, I don't necessarily think he would have taken Blake Griffin out of the squad. But he would have given Blake Griffin a run for his money. So I just want to check what price demand the Sabonis is. I might just go and buy some bonus tomorrow. Um, for this, just check. Want to check just how much? So I think he might go. He's a player. I think his price might go down tomorrow. Um, I don't. I definitely don't think I'll be able to get him for three thousand three hundred. Um, I was hoping I can get him for like six, five, six k. Okay, he's actually really, really cheap. So. Okay, so he's around 5k MT. That's not a bad price. I think I will be able to get him cheaper tomorrow, though. Um, yeah, or maybe later today. Okay, 4750, 2450. I don't think I'll get him. Yeah, another user bought at this auction. No people looking for him. Okay. 4750. Like, I might have overspent a little bit, but if I did overspend, it's something very slight. And lads, you know what? We made a little bit of headway. We played four of the Igadala challenges last night. I tried to at least get to like 12 or 13 today. And then just do the last couple of them tomorrow. Which means that I've got Wednesday and Thursday to complete all of the Spotlight Challenge for Jason Kidd. And to be honest, I'm going to have a lot more motivation to do these challenges here. Because Richard Jefferson is a lot better than Rick Barry. But um, yeah, so I actually want to get them done quick as well. Because I have a weird feeling Super Packs are coming out before Brandon Roy. So I don't want my Steph Curry and my Vince Carter to like half in price. So uh, yeah, um, let's go to my team and let's put in, like I'm realistically not gonna use Jaron Jackson Jr. So I might as well just put him in at center here. And I don't know if I'm gonna use, I probably won't use him, but uh, I might as well just go over his release. So now we're gonna go over to release and hot zones for the Mantis Sabonis. Then we're gonna get onto the game using this squad here. So it's a bonus, no range extender like Bargnani has, but it's not the biggest deal for a big man. His passing is actually really good. He's got gold dimer, which helps a little bit. Uh, I don't, I'm not feeling that release. Even with quick draw, I'm definitely not feeling that release. Comparing that to like a Miles Turner or a Bargnani release, I am not feeling that. Not a bad release, like it is just on the slow side of gold quick draw players. It's a lot quicker, obviously, than not having quick draw, but... I think the Mantis Sabonis will need Hall of Fame quick draw before that's a really good release. Moving, it's actually not bad. But like as you guys can see, I'm pulling up for a lot of early releases. Which, if you're doing that, you know, a lot of the time the release is uh, either too fast or too slow. But not going to be the worst release in the world. If I can get it to him in the post, he's going to be quite decent in the post. Like Hook and Fadeaway are both really high rated. And I just, he fits my team. He actually does fit my team. He doesn't bring anything on defense though. Whereas Bagnani and Turner bring out a little bit more on defense. But, nah, he's a, he's going to be a decent card. Depending on how the game's going, I might put him in. And realistically, I'd say tomorrow's video, I probably will just go and put him into the squad and give him a proper run out. But for today anyway, I'm just going to, because I'm not really used to using him, I think I might just leave him at the end of the bench and play him if we are way ahead and have a little bit of a cushion. So anyway, now just scream on three and come on now let's get on to the game okay so we are playing walt t mac larry yanis and yao great great we match up okay to this team we don't match up well to it and his bench is tatum Jokic. yeah this is not going to be easy this is not going to be an easy game um if anything this is going to be a really really difficult game so Hopefully we can lock in and play, but obviously it's the God Squad, it seems better than mine, so. We're on a little bit, since Saturday, we're on a little bit of a bad streak in terms of close games. We've been losing a lot of them, whereas I'm usually good in close games. Um, let's play him straight up. Let's get over that screen. Good defense by Van Horn. 
Oke, try. It's fine with there. Go defense. Oh, we left him open. Go defense, lads. Oh, three of us. There's three of us standing around him and he the ball land. I'm not even going to say, yeah, we got the rebound there. The ball just landed in his hands. Bye, bye. Green light there by Jason Terry. Let's go. They did a horrible job on that screen right there. It's not a great release. Come on. Can't let them hit some hit whites. That's, they've been bailed twice now to start this game. I bailed. Okay, they're in zone. Perfect. Bye, bye. Bad, bad release. Bail me out. Bail me out. He's a better shooter than you. Um, bail me out. That's what I want. I just want everything to be even. If I'm hitting whites, he can hit whites. If I'm not hitting whites, I would really rather he, he not hit whites. But that hasn't been the case. I have not played a game yet in the last like two or three days where my opponent, where I'm not hitting whites, my opponent is. Or where, sorry, where I'm hitting whites, my opponent isn't. It's all either when we're both hitting whites, none of us are hitting whites, or most like what's most likely the case is my opponent's hitting whites and I'm not. Bye bye. Green light right there, back to one. There you go. Blake at the point is probably what I'm gonna do against his own. Because I think Blake pretty sure Blake has some form of dimer. I could be completely wrong with that one, but I'm like probably 75% sure he has some form of it. Bye bye. But white glitch! Come on, 2K! Stop bailing him! Every single play he's getting bailed. And it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. Which is the annoying thing. I play bad games. I play a lot of bad games. But I hate it when you're not doing anything wrong. And it's the game just screwing you. How is it a 63% contest? It's a wide open jumper. Just because someone... You could, like, he doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. He can't see T-Mac. T-Mac is nowhere near the ball. And he's so far behind him that Miles Turner can't see him. He doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. That is not a contest. Bang, bang. Okay, there we go. Thank God we hit a white. Clamp him, clamp him. We've let Yao get past the side of us. Jump. We gotta jump on that. There's nothing else we could have done there. That's open. That's a bad release. Let's go. Like, this guy is really not good. Like, yeah, he's got a good team and all, but like, he's not good. Kick to the corner. Don't get caught in that dribble. To a wide open, Vince. Green. There we go. Back to three right here. Good defense. Jump, 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 lads. Give up that. It's a bad release again. This guy is selling. This guy is really not good. Bang, bang. Oh, pull up quicker than that. That's off. Yeah. Um, I snatched back. I snatched back, but I should have just taken the shot. I didn't see where he was on defense. There we go. To the basket. Easy layup by Giannis because Jokic cannot stop him there. <laughs> there we go. Back to three. A couple of stops here. A couple of stops here would be great. Back out. Back off under that. Um, Get out the boss here. Got five shooters. Not really that bothered by the d post postfade. I don't know what his postfade rating is, to be honest. And that's not a good foul. I was in. I was going into no man's land there. I had nowhere to go. Bang, bang. Green light. Let's go. We are out here killing it. It's eye game. Get to the basket. Oh, we left him open. Good job, jump. We've actually done a great job recovering there. I don't know why I thought I was in zone. And I was running around like I was in zone. You know what? This guy's playing a bit of the zone. Like when I coach a team, I run this zone where it's literally like, okay, guard passing lanes and don't guard players. So the way I always realize the zone gets beaten is if we can just get one of the top guys to engage on the ball. And if, cause he's just going passing lanes, he doesn't seem to be guarding the ball at all. So I think that as long as we um, keep him... Uh, Make sure one of his top guys has to guard Yanis attacking the middle. Okay, next couple of seconds, I will be not focusing at all. I am currently trying to finish up my Brandon Ingram video, titling it in thumbnail and stuff. While, uh, while titles and tags while playing this game. Not an ideal thing to do, but my ability to multitask is how I'm able to get so many videos out. Nothing to do with hard work or with like outworking everybody. Just really, really good multitasking ability. That I can play a game while editing and also while uh, make I can literally make a thumbnail while playing a game. <laughs> That's how you see so many videos in this channel. It's elite multitasking skills. Uh, let's tack. 
Oh, no, no, no. That is not a good pass. We're right there, though. Good job. Hold. Attack. The shooter is open, and that is green. I'm telling you, once you get him up to a diamond, he hits threes at so much higher rate. Like, for a lot of players, like, for Evos, you don't feel anything. But for Dion Waiters, it's so, so good once he gets a diamond to jump that. Good defense by Bragnani. Bragnani goes and leaves a break. Stop from deep green line. Let's go. <laughs> Lovely there by Bragnani. Bragnani's just better Jokic. Or, well, Jokic with a better release. And without the passing. That's a terrible shot. Why didn't he just kick it out to Tatum? This guy's playing frustrated right now. He's playing frustrated. Hey, you may have the best team in the game, but that only means so much. Byron Davis, get out of there. Let me just attack. To a wide open Marcus. Mars, shoot the ball. Oh my God, why would he shoot the ball? I was trying to shoot it twice there. We need to shoot this one. I hate that, the small forward zone glitch. I'm telling you, it's a real thing. It is a real thing that your small forward a lot sometimes cannot shoot the ball against his own. Like, that is one... Ask Goggles. Goggles are qualified... Or, not even Goggles. Tight Ebo, Goggles, Max Sauce. Ask anyone who plays this game at a high level. The small forward versus a zone glitch is a real thing. Your small forward half the time cannot shoot the ball. Bye, bye. Green. Big shot there by Andrea Bagnani. And we've left the shooter open. We got it. We got to uh, adapt, adapt, adapt. Great rotations there. We're going back to T-Mac. And we, why did we leave him? I'm not meant to be doubling here. Am I in a zone? I don't think so. No, I'm not. I don't know why my players, where my players are going like. I think I must have changed into a trap or something. Oh, that's a risky shot. That's a risky shot that went in. You know what? Uh, sometimes bad shots go in. Jump at that. That's not a good release. They deserve that. Yeah. They they 100 percent Considering I made the shot I made, they deserve that shot there. Oh my god, pass the ball! My buttons aren't working properly. There we go. And we we somehow got a good shot at that play. Like my buttons literally are not working. They're not my pass buttons not working half the time. And I've hit the small forward glitch about three times. That's not. Well, it is obviously a foul, but why would you do that, Brian? You were in perfect position to just block him. He, he took a bad layup. Like, it's a bad layup attempt by him. Okay, let's just get the starters back in. Brian it's okay shot. And hit it. Yanis rebounds through the basket right there. To a wide open Baron Davis, who greens in on a three-pointer. Let's go. He'll build up a 10-point lead here. And they throw it right out of bounds. This guy needs to get out of his zone. Oh, we sold. <laughs> we sold one of the easiest shots of the game. You know what? I'm actually going to put in Sabonis. This is actually a game where Sabonis might actually come in handy. Straight at them. To a wide open shooter. Green. <laughs> Let's go. They have to help in somewhere. And if I was him, I'd just keep trying to deny the passes as much as possible. And to just let me go one on one with Yao. Okay, he's put Jokic back in the game, which means the Blake Griffin one-on-one -on -one versus Jokic is a real thing. So everyone just get out of the way. And uh, let me run right on. He's in a 3-2 zone right now. Yeah, like, I'm very confident I'm either going to get a dunk or a draw foul every single time on that. So, I can just charge on him. The way he's playing his zone, he has not spent one set. Like, he does not want to guard the ball. All he wants to do is get in passing lanes and get stops, which is why I've been so successful. I know exactly what this guy's trying to do. So, the man that Sabonis just standing in the corner mightn't be a bad shout either. And especially because he's gone into a 3-2 zone, which means I literally have to 5 out and someone's going to be wide up and jump late. Oh, come on. I would have rather left that one wide, because of how bad that release was, I would have rather left that one wide open. Um, He is back in the 2-3 zone, I guess. No, now he's gone 3-2. He keeps switching between zones. I don't know what he thinks that'll do for him, but... It's not going to, like, it might be the scrub. It's not going to beat me. Like, this is exactly like the Yurik um, when Yurik played me. Yurik was playing with tactics. Oh, wow. Yurik was playing me like I was a scrub, like I couldn't play. And that's the reason why I won the game. Yurik is way better than me at 2K. But uh, the reason why I won the game was he was trying out. He, he was using a lot of tactics that would beat guys that can't play the game. Kick to the corner. 
Bang, bang. And <laughs> we are lighting this guy up right here. Our timing is on point, and this guy is way, way too stubborn with his, with his sticking in his own. And Sabonis somehow nearly gets the stop. I don't think Sabonis is a smart decision right here to run with him, but... You know what? It could be... I got a worse send to use because he can't hit the shot. He can't hit an open shot, which is what we need. One more. Do a shooter. Green. There we go. Pass it around. Play patient. And eventually we're going to get shots. Our defense has been a bit lacking the last couple of plays. But, you know, we've consistently gotten open shots here. That's an all right contest. And they're not hitting that shot consistently. They've already hit two of them, I think. Okay, I just literally... Have, I want to wait for him to commit to a shooter. Or to sit in the 3-2 zone. Which means I can... I like literally, in the 3-2 zone, I can just back down the rows and eventually kick to a shooter in the corner. <laughs> like, the 3-2 zone is not going to work against me. I'm telling you that for as one thing for certain. A 3-2 zone is not going to beat me. If this guy wants any chance, he goes back to man. I don't even know go back to man. I don't think he's played one second of man in this game. Point guard Blake Griffin is just dominating here. That's fine. If he doesn't want to foul, I can burn him. I still have a quick first step. For white on Vince. Green. Huh. Let's go. You help in somewhere. I've got shooters everywhere. You can't just... You can't play, like, turbo ball past a guy with clamps. And that's just horrendous, horrendous defense by me, like. Let's get it in. Don't give them the ball back. We've got a 16-point lead now going into the fourth. Realistically, if this guy wasn't too stubborn to move out of the zone, we might, like, he might actually be able to give us some problems with his team. Like, he's not a bad offensive player. His defense is just horrendous. Come on, point guard Blake is just dominating. And he's gone to man, has he? Which means point guard Blake is going to be destroying his Chris Bosch. <laughs> he draws the fell and gets the two shots. All right, come on. And they brought Giannis and Yale back in. They brought their starting lineup back in. So we're going to go and bring our starting lineup back in in a couple, in a minute or so. Or our bench lineup back in in a minute or so. What a dunk right there. You have credit where credit's you. It's a nice dunk. Um, it's a bonus. Um, just take it up. It's a bonus, I guess. He's not going to press up on Yao. And if he is, we're just going to snatch back into the three-point shot. And, oh, that was actually a good look. I missed time the release very, very slightly, and he got an okay contest on it. But that wasn't a bad look at all. No, okay, great job with the foul. All right, we can't do dumb things from here. Like, that's the only way we lose is if we do dumb things. So, I'm going to play slow as I possibly can. To run the pick and pop here. But I wanted that switch. It's a little bit deep for Blake. Oh, I actually got exactly what he wanted, what I wanted in that play, except I just took a shot from a little bit too deep. That's fine. Oh, that's... He got screwed right there. He got screwed. So, let's pull them out of there and just get it to Bagnani. He is definitely a player that I can pull from deep with, though. And if he wants to really, really give me space or press high... I can press high, I should be able to burn him. Which I did to the basket. Bragnani couldn't make that. Alright, that was a uh, a bit of a risky play. Tried it once, didn't work. Oh, we were right there though. Give him that three. Five release. Good job, Giannis. Giannis is the best rebounder in my team. Is it just, like I'm 90 like he gets every board. Like even more than Mirasan. Like it's ridiculous. And burn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You don't try to put the ball in with your face, Bragnani. Use your hands. Okay, we've got him clamped. Like, this guy does not know how to deal with my players. And um, we... That's true. Like, to be fair, though, we're, like... This has gone helter-skelter. Neither of us are scoring. But we're so far ahead that this actually kind of helps us. This style of play doesn't help us because I just should be dribbling the air out of the ball, but... And what's the way this game's been played definitely helps us. Just wanted to help off Bagnani for three. Bad release. Can't hit it. Now that's a really good shot. That was to. 
Okay, I'd say they are gonna need to score every single possession and we're not we're gonna need to not score again to lose this game. But that can happen. Like, not if you're taking shots like that. Like, that's how we win the game. Them settling for that. Ranyani for mid, green. There we go. That is a shot we needed right there. Well, I read it's a shot that basic well was already pretty much over. That is the shot that guarantees it to be over. And they sell on the wide open midi. I think that's unlucky more than anything. That looked like it was almost green. Three over two, bad release. But waiters hits it. Alright, let's go. We are well and truly in control of this game here. 18 point lead. Okay, this guy has not gone for one behind the back either. Like if you're not going for behind the backs, what, like if you if you're not spamming behind the backs, there is no reason to use T Mac over like Vince Carter. <laughs> There's not, unless if you're a dribble god. Like if you want to spam behind the backs and shoot like really deep shots, go ahead, use T Mac. He's way better. And if you don't want to dribble at all, just use Vince Carter and save the 300 KMT. Well, actually no. To be fair, he's got Ray Allen, so he's obviously got all of them. Okay, we go right to the basket. Waiters with the dunk. Go, Dion Waiters got nine points right here. We are way out of position, leaving a wide open Larry, which he didn't take the shot for some reason. Takes that one though. Okay, I don't understand why he didn't take the good shot and took the bad one. Stop, that's a bad release. And it's good. All right, um, 21 point lead. That should, definitely shouldn't have gone in. Snatch back, we've got a three, green light right there from Baron Davis, who has 16 points here. So an easy 27 point win there in the end. So in the end, Baron Davis had 19, six of seven from three, Vince Carter had 12, four of seven, Andrea Bagnani had 10, Keith Van Horn had nine, didn't miss. Dion Wade is one of three from three, but four of six in the field, he had nine as well. The Jet had eight, Blake Griffin had six. Funnily enough, the starters were only, were minus one, the bench killed it. Like bench plus 28 for Dion Waiters. Like, um, Demantis De Sabonis had three, one of two. Yanis had two, Marcus Morris had two, Miles Turner didn't score. He missed a wide up midi as well, which wasn't great. And yeah, solid enough game right there. Dr. J and Ben Smith didn't play. So anyway, that is the video. Good win right there. Good ga overall game. I just really wish we gotten... To be honest, I would have rather just... Like, my first preference would have just been a contract pack or a shoe pack, and I could have maybe got a shoe for like 30 or 40k. Um, my second preference would have been... Like, he's not even cropped out properly. 2k was so lazy with this guard that Kemba Walker isn't even cropped out properly. Like, just looking around his head and his arms, he's not even cropped out properly. Like, come on, 2k, come on. But, like, that's no big deal. I just find it funny. But anyway, yeah. Um, I wish that at least this card... Like, he doesn't even get range extender. Not by the looks of it. Like, he doesn't even get range extender. <laughs> Like, you're out here, like, looking at our five Hall of Fame badge diamond, and suddenly this free one this doesn't even get range center. Like, I'm telling you, this guy right here, Dennis Smith Jr., is significantly better than that CP3. Um, what are guys that are better than the CP3? Um, Schroeder's better. Fultz is better. Or Fultz is debatable. Um, Exum's better. Jamal Murray's better. Um... His name, Devontae Graham's better, Darius Garland's better. There's so many better guys in that Emerald can, but, and it's a pity because I was kind of looking forward to that card, thinking, oh, what could they have done when they released it now? But it's just so, so bad. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.